Iron Maiden! Oh yeah, yeah! Freddy's here, Mel and Beer, and the day, the Mighty Maiden, Iron Maiden, Trooper Beer, all the way from Robeson's Brewery. Never tasted this before. Lovely Iron Maiden Tripper Glass. Tripper Beer. So let's get her cracked into It's a premium British beer, it says so. We'll get her cracked into a glass. See what we think, fellow fuckers. Lovely wee top in that bottle as well, look. We'll get her cracked in. I think this is a 4.5 ABV on this beer. There's Bruce who's going through a bit of jumping session here. Man. Get your act together, Bruce, we'll get Paul back in the barn again. Iron Maiden Trooper beer. Get around the glass, give yourself a bit of peace of mind. A wee bit of smoke there was on the bottle of opening there. This has been nice and chilled. I don't know how much of heat coming on it. Could be the glass too, but I'm not complaining about that. To smell it from here, got a lovely caramel hoppy flavour coming from here. Yeah, that was definitely fruit. A nice pint. And a wee collectible bottle for me as well. Nice caramel coloured beer. No carbonation going on in the glass. Yum finger, creamy, white head. Getting a lovely, lovely caramel, hoppy. A bit of carbonation going on in the glass there, right enough as you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it going on here myself. You see, it's smelling promising, don't you? Definitely, definitely smells promising. So, beginning of the sniff, to get the whiff, let's get a wee swally now. Cheers. It's lovely and refreshing on the palate, that. You can taste that that is actually a proper good ale, a proper good beer, you know it is. It's really, really hard to get that here. I actually had to send away for an Iron Maiden can with a bottle of beer and a glass in it. I've come a couple of times with a glass smash and there's no one, so I had to just keep purchasing it until I got a glass. I know it's a bit mad, but that's the way it works, you know. And they've got my tripper glass, so I better hope it didn't break out. The heat has dissipated on this, but they're still getting that lovely, fresh, lovely eel smell and taste of this. You know, on the palate, it's just tasting like a beautiful, real eel. It's not like as if there's any preservatives written in it. There might be, I don't know, must. I'll have to have a better ganja at it when I come off here. A better, as I say. I think it's actually 4.7, I think this is 4.5, it's 4.7 I think, which is strong enough, you know, for a beer, and um, if anybody knows where I can buy this, and we're learning cases with let me know, because I want to assess it this. Oh, that's crisp, it was done nice and smooth, hitting the back of the tongue there, you say, there's a slight carbonation in it, but maybe because I had to chill, that's maybe helping with it too. But I can imagine sitting in some metal beer garden at some festival, quite happily enjoying pints of that there on a nice sunny day, with a bit of metal music playing in the background. Pleasantly pleasantly surprised. The Motorhead Road Crew, I like that. The Maiden. I know they've got a lot of other ones, such as Stout and um, other reels. So this is actually, as I say, this is a premium British beer. And you can't beat a bit of British. No matter what's going on, 
We're still British, proud of the core. Staunch. God save the king, all the rest of it. Maiden beer. What will I get? To me, that's a very, 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 very good beer. And I will be looking at it to get me out. So if there's anybody out there that can help me pick any more of this up, let me know where I can pick it up or send it to me if you like. And any beers you want me to review. Iron Maiden beer. That's a good nine. It's a good nine. Nine out of ten. Metal beer. Metal bond. The British. Until next Friday. Play with your mouth, stroke your musket. Stay metal friends. Love you.